In this video, we'll demonstrate the VLOOKUP command. This perhaps is one of the most popular uh, functions that you'll use in Excel when you're trying to look up information. First of all, let's pretend that we've been given a task to uh, enter employee number and that employee number sales. Uh, but the report they want to, us to generate includes their first name, last name, and region but we've only been given their employee number and their sales numbers. So how do we do that? Well, we can do that as long as we have a source of the complete salesperson database. And here, I have a separate sheet called salesperson. It includes their employee number, first and last names, the region they work in, and also their birthday. So if we go back to our, v, to our VLOOKUP form and we go back to our task, we can say, okay, well, let's say employee 1001 had sales of $854.33. Okay, so I plugged those two things in there, but without this command, I would have to go over here, find 101, find their first name, find their last name, and their region, and bring it back over here and either copy and paste it or re enter it. Well, we can use the VLOOKUP command to make life much, much easier. But before that, I want to make sure that our source data is set up properly. Now notice here that we have a column heading and we also have rows of data that contain all the information we need. Well, let's organize this into a table. And to do that, I'm simply going to highlight, not the, not the column heading, but the first row of the first record of Fred. I'm going to highlight that and drag down. And now I want to create a named range. And to do that, I can simply come up to this box up here. This is called the name box. And I can just select this and type in, we'll call this sales, sales person. Press enter. And now I've named this range. So if I click away, and I come back to my drop down box, you'll see salesperson here. When I select it, it automatically highlights that range. So that's good. So now we can come back to our, our sales entry form and we can come to first name. And let me go back and look. Okay, first name here is in the what we call the, the second the second column. So to use the VLOOKUP function, I'm going to press equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. Now it's asking me for my lookup value. Notice down here, it kind of gives us hints as to what it's looking for. So it's looking at the lookup value. Well, we actually want to look up the employee number, don't we? So I'm going to select C4, press comma, table array. Well, the table array is what we just named our table. So I'm going to type in sales person. And as you can see below, it gives us a hint of what it thinks we're looking for. Comma. Now it's asking me what column do I want to pull from my table? We, we, we want to pull column two because that's the first name column. So column two, comma. And now it's asking me true or false. And true says approximate max, the values in the first column of the table must be sorted in ascending order. Well, that's okay, but I'm truly, I, I want an exact match. I want the employee number to match exactly in our lookup table. So I'm going to say false, close parentheses, enter. And notice that it plops in Fred. So to get the last name and the region, I can simply copy this and paste. Now we're going to get an error message, but because it's only because it's looking at relative cell reference. So I want to change D4 back to C4. I want to keep salesperson as our source, but I do want to change column three now to column, or column two rather, to column three. And press enter. And we'll do the same for region. Copy. I'm sorry. Let's go back and copy this, paste here, and let's go up and edit our formula. Let's go back and look up C4 using the salesperson table. 
Now region happens to be column 4 from our source, so let's change 3 to 4 and press enter. So now we have our first name, our last name, and the region they belong to. So now we can take these formulas, we can drag across them with our mouse, and using the autofill handle, we can pull these down, all the way down across all 18 rows. And you're saying, well, what? why do we have errors? Well, it's because we have it plugged in the employee number now. So now if I come up here and I type in 1002, notice what happens as soon as I tab away. We get the cells, we get the first name, last name and region. So now we can put in Wilma cells 949.23. Okay, let's move on to our next employee, 1003. Oh, that's Barney Rubble. His sales were $444.44. Next, 1004. That's Betty. Her sales were 652.74. So you see the pattern here. Once we've established our formulas for the VLOOKUP, we can simply drag those down and we, be we can begin entering the information that we've been given and all the other columns fall into place. And again, the key is to making sure your data is set up as a named range up here in the name box. That is the key to a good VLOOKUP command. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.